hello there and welcome to my youtube channel once more my name is rudolph mensa i am bringing you wisdom life lessons from movies from books i love watching Grey's anatomy it's one of the series that i can binge on and so in one of the scenes dr meredith gray was sharing with a bunch of residents about the biological and scientific reasons why women have to speak up because if they don't men have developed the capacity not to hear or to listen to women when they come up and speak and so uh, she made some points about some statistics and why women have to take the initiative to speak up and say what is bothering them or when they have issues to talk about i have an alternative or a perspective on that but i wanted to listen to her and then i'll come back Now, who can tell me the steps of a partial laryngectomy? In group settings, men are 75% more likely to speak up than women. And when a woman does speak up, it's statistically probable her male counterparts will either interrupt her or speak over her. It's not because they're rude. Cross. It's science. The female voice is scientifically proven to be more difficult for a male brain to register. What does this mean? It means, in this world, where men are bigger, stronger, faster, if you're not ready to fight, the silence will kill you. This is killing me. We have not moved. So use it. Speak up. Raise your hands. Shout your answers. Make yourself heard. Whatever it takes, just Find your voice, and when you do, I surrender. Fill the damn silence. Okay, okay, so that is awesome. But what I have to say is this you know, animals go through periods where they adapt to situations, for instance, the tortoise may have adapted to the venom of a cobra so even if a cobra uh, bite or yes bites the back of a tortoise because of its shell the tortoise doesn't feel the venom in this situation you know you may say that the tortoise doesn't listen to the ven um the viper or the cobra because the tortoise has developed a shell it could be that men have developed that capacity not to listen to women because women in quote talk a lot I'm not saying that's the truth, but I'm saying that animals have always adapted to situations. It could be that women have incessant desire to talk and talk and talk. And so men have come to the point over the years through evolution, through whatever methodology, to the point where, you know what? Yes, we're just not going to listen to you. That's on the funny side. I, but I mean, I'm just trying to bring this up so that you have to talk about it. Do you really believe that? men don't listen or men are biologically prone to speak above women in certain contexts or situations for me i feel yes everyone needs a voice everyone needs to have the confidence to speak up about issues that bother them especially when it comes to issues of gender equality um, issues of equal opportunity and all of that that i am an advocate of but i mean i just threw in that opinion for you to come in and say is it also possible that men have developed the capacity not to listen because you guys talk a lot maybe i don't know but let me know what you think in the comment section i i practice empathy i listen a lot my mom taught me that and i i will encourage every young man here especially if you're in a relationship you are married you are in a work setting always give the opportunity for your female comp counterpart to speak up even if they are not talking, encourage them to share what they feel. You would you would be inspired or you would be motivated to know what they are having. They have a lot of brilliant ideas, but most of them are um, upbringing, cultural situations. A lot of things have coerced them into keeping quiet and allowing the man to talk. Let's encourage our women to come up with what they think and the world will be a better place. See you on the next video you are here please and please again kindly don't forget to subscribe click on the bell icon click on the to get notifications and also subscribe to my youtube channel i am bringing you videos once or twice a week and please 
leave your comment i want to hear from you help me build this community i'm bringing you life lessons from books from movies from the scripture from sermons this is to help you live your best life and if so if this is something you want then please don't leave without subscribing thank you and see you on the next video